What's up guys, Battalion Airsoft Arena Tech Shop, Casey and Stevie. What's and up people? We're here to talk about gear sets. You know it. So, anyway, so there you go. Uh, got my gears. Casey, your favorite gears are? 13 to 1s and 16 to 1s. Tell us why. 16 to 1s. Tell us why. Speed. Kills. Yes. So Except, don't do unless, unless you do this. Do not. Do not. Never, Ooh. never, Ooh. never use 13 to 1s in an Ooh. SH high size speed. Because if I do another one of these setups, some head's gonna roll. Why, why would someone not want to do the SHS high speed motor and the 13 one gears? Because you're gonna burn out your $60 motor in all of one bottle of BBs. You're gonna wreck your uh, $30 gear set in all of one bottle of BBs. It's not gonna last, you're wasting money. There's no point. Yeah, but Casey, I want 45 rounds per second. Well, why when you can kill somebody with one BB? I got with a Springer and wreck your 45 rounds a second. Good point. So, let's stay away from that uh, combo. It happens all the time. People want the fastest thing they can possibly get. The fastest gear set is a 10 to 1 that you can barely find. But we have 13 to 1s. They're everywhere. 13 to 1 gear set, the fastest gear set you can buy here. And SHS high speed is the fastest motor you can get. And people always assume that that fast motor and that fast gear set equals perfectly cool, super efficient, High super speed, no problems, right? You're also gonna burn your hand to death. Yeah, it's hot, that motor's overworked, you're, you're asking to do too much. It's built to pull standard ratio gears or higher, like a torque gears, which is like a 20, like 22 to one or 28 to one or 32 to one, something like that, at a faster speed than stock on springs that aren't 130. They're less, 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 Less than one ten. One, one, one ten is yeah. the highest you should really run. Yeah, one ten spring standard ratio gears is the only real feasible setup that you would want to run that SHS high speed, because we're not trying to diss the motor. The motor's great. It does an amazing job. The problem is, is when you set it up in high stress situations, which our limits are four hundred with two fives, and that's absurd. Four not five. really. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> To get our FPS limits, you have to run a heavy spring, a 130. 120s can sometimes be had, but you have to use longer barrels. When you use that spring and setup to try to get that with that motor, it gets hot, it burns hands. I've got two or three of those motors burned out. How many motors do you have burned out? Like your or a <clears throat> toolbox full of them? A toolbox full of SHS high speed motors because they just, they're not built to do that. So please don't buy that motor with that gears. Now that's out of the way, since I know all of you want 30 a second, here's your perfect setup. 16 to 1 gears and a high torque motor. That will get you 28 to 30 a second depending on your gun and it is perfect, almost no heat, runs flawlessly. I love my setup with that. Buy the Lonex gears, just because they're better they're than- the Lonex. The they're higher quality than SHS, they cost more, but ultimately you get what you pay for. If you buy a set of low priced affordable gears and they break once, you're already paying more for two sets of gears than you could have paid for one decent set of gears. We also, we don't use them very often, but we have a Classic Army Torque Up gear set. You'd use a Torque Up if you were running a heavy spring, so like a 140, 150, 160, usually DMR setups. And you, you want the gears to be able to turn the, and pull the spring without... Efficiently. Yeah, without effic heating without, up and... So think about a mountain bike. 13 to 1s are the very bottom gear, that really hard one to pedal, but ultimately you can go super, super fast. So think about your feet as the motor, and how hard is it to pedal that gear from a stop? It's hard. It's like a 7. It's, a, it's hard. It's hard. So torque up gears are the higher ratioed gears. It's easier to turn. Ultimately, they spin slower because they take so much longer to turn. But as far as efficiency, saving battery, saving BBs, saving your hand from blisters and your guns from breaking, there's no point to run speed gears, 13 to 1s, and high speed motors. Generally, I like to go by the ratio. If you're going to run speed gears, run torque motor. If you run torque gears, you can run a speed motor if you want. So it's like that. You, you don't have to run speed gears and speed motor and torque gears with a torque motor. It's, it, you know, people get that, cons uh, you know, uh, confused that if you want a high FPS gun, I'll, I'll use a really slow motor and a really slow gun, and my gun's like, fwa-da-da-da, fwa-da-da-da. 
And it's not true. It's not it's necessary, not, no. and it's not needed. And if you, you can ask any of us, um, if you have any questions on what you want, my preferred um, setup to build when customers come in and asking what they want, nine times out of ten, it's exactly what Casey said. The 16 to 1 gears, which 18 to 1 is the stock ratio. So if your gun has stock gears, it's got 18 to 1. So 16 is a little faster, but nowhere near as hard to turn as the 13 to 1s. So you're getting a little bit faster gears but basically by buying the 16 to ones you're getting a better quality gear so you're going to get SHS gears so you're going to get rid of your crappy stock gears you're going to get better quality gears slightly faster and then you run that torque motor the SHS high torque um, watch my video about motors if you want to know more about motors but the aftermarket motors are always going to be faster than your stock one so even if you get a torque motor SHS high torque or an amp or uh, Lone X A1s or A2s it's going to be exponentially faster than your stock motor but because you're running a 16 to 1 setup, it's not too harsh on the, the components, and the high torque motor still spins fast enough to get 30 a second, which is plenty by any means. More than enough. It's way more than enough. If you shoot 30 a second, you probably can't aim. <laughs> Says the one that runs a laser. Oh, uh, don't talk about my laser. I can't aim. I got, got bad eyes. My 40 a second. I got bad eyes. So basically, what we're saying, guys, is you don't need speed gears to get speed. There's other ways to do it. it it's just not. You want to. Make your setup as efficient as possible. So you can save batteries, you can save BBs, save motors, save motors, save your hand, save your gun from being in here, being fixed all the time, because you just want the fastest thing possible. And remember guys, when these guns are built and they're bought, they're not made to do this. When you put 13 to 1 gear set in your gun with stock components around it, those stock components were never ever meant to run with that gear set. They're meant to run with your stock gear. So when you change things, remember that you've got to change everything else around it to support it, or it's just going to break those parts. So people come in here all the time with broken anti-reversal latches, pistons. Pistons strip all the time because of pre-engagement, because they're spinning too fast and the teeth are made out of plastic and they just go. What else breaks? The motor itself. The motor. Motor. Uh, springs break. That's that's not too common, and that's that's about it as far as stuff you'll burn out. Trigger contacts, you'll burn out trigger contacts because of the exorbitant amount of heat in the gearbox. Yeah, if you're running 11.1, watch out for your triggers too because of the, the arcing effect when you pull the trigger itself, kind of corrode the metal, and that's what burning trigger contacts are all about. It's about the metal on metal being corroded and not making contact anymore. So when you pull the trigger, nothing happens. And we should specify that the, the ratio of the gears is dependent, the 13, like 13 to 1s, it takes 13 spins of the pinion gear on the motor to spin the sector gear one time for one shot. Yeah. So, so that's, that's a common thing people yes. don't know. So. so 13 to 1s, basically what Casey's saying means is your motor has to turn 13 times before your piston comes back and forward once. So 16 is more spins, which is slower than 13s. 13s 13, 13 to 1s will spin the motor or your gear set three turns faster or three turns shorter amount of time. Three less turns. Three less turns and 16s will, ultimately making it faster because it happens so much faster. I like 13 to 1s with a heavy, super, super retarded slow motor because your semi-automatic trigger response is instant because you've got the quick gear set and you've got the slow motor that can turn that gear set efficiently. I don't kill batteries all, I, my batteries run for days and days and days at a time because I run efficient setups. So know your setup, do lots and lots of research. Ask us, ask Casey if you have any questions about what he likes to do, motors he likes or you know recommends or gears he recommends because you know, we see a lot of guns, a lot of guns. A lot of guns. So we, we know what we're talking about. If you have any questions, you just ask us and we'll, we'll hook you up for sure. So come to Battalion, gear gun fix, get it souped up. Try not to get shot in the face. Shoot them in the face. But remember, you don't need 40 a second. You just need one BB. And if you shoot some, and I hate when I get shot 90 times. Like when I bunker you. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Get it, ha get it, on, get it trending on Twitter. Hashtag save the guns. Hashtag... Battalion forever. Hashtag